How's it going everyone? I hope you're having a kick-ass week. Today, what I want to talk about on Stillit is waxing bottles. So let's talk about how to do this, why you would do it, a few different options on how to get the wax off to open the bottle. And at the end of the video, I want to talk about something else that you can put on bottles to make it a little bit special as well. Welcome to Still It everyone, I'm Jesse and this is the channel all about chasing the craft of home distillation and making it a legitimate hobby. So if you're into craft spirits and all things booze like waxing the top of bottles, this is probably the channel for you. Hit the subscribe button down below, I put out content every week, make sure you don't miss it. Alright team, so here's the plan, there are a couple of iconic commercial spirits out there that wax the top of their bottles, so I thought... <coughs> It'd be kind of cool to do that ourselves. I've bottled up a few things ready for Christmas and uh, I thought it'd be kind of fun to make it make it something special and have a play with waxing. All right, like I said before guys, I've actually set this up in three different ways. I've tried three different ways <clears throat> to set up taking the cap off when you are ready to drink it. Uh, and I wanted to show you all three so you can make your own mind up and then I'll tell you what my favorite is and I'll get onto waxing all the rest of the bottles. So first up, number one is just nothing. You need a knife to open the thing. Uh, you're gonna run a blade around the top of the bottle to break the seal or um, cut the wax, obviously. Uh, and then you just sort of twist and pop the cork. Now this little test I did, I went way overboard and I've uh, actually done I think five layers of wax here. And I wanted to do that just to see in the worst case scenario, if there's way too much wax on the bottle, you can't really see where the cork is and all that sort of stuff. Is it a pain in the ass then? Is it too much of a bother? <clears throat> and if it's okay then, it's going to be okay in other situations. That's sort of my thinking on that one. Not much to explain there. Number two is actually using fishing wire. Hope you can see that in this light. Uh, but you tie a little loop and the loop goes around the top of the cork, you push it right up uh, to the top of the cork and then wind it around a few times and leave a wee tail sticking out off the edge of the bottle. Now if I was doing this properly I'd probably tie some sort of tab onto the end of that, perhaps a washer or a bead if uh, you're not worried about being manly. Uh, and essentially just when you unwind that it acts like a little knife almost and it, and it cuts the wax as it goes around. And the last way that I tried was using tape. This is essentially the same idea as the fishing line except we're using tape instead. Now obviously you would cut a much thinner strip of tape than this but for the purposes of showing you it's probably easier. Uh, you put the cork into the bottle so you, you cap the bottle off and then you wind the tape around the cork and the bottle uh, like so and then at the end you fold a little bit of the tape over on itself to create a tab that sticks out. So it'll stick out from the bottle like so and then you dip it in the wax. Obviously uh, unwinding it breaks the wax unless you get into the bottle. Now I would suggest using reinforced tape of some description for this and potentially and potentially if it's really hardcore tape do the old trick of uh, de-sticking it a little bit before sticking it on the bottle. You don't need it to stick a whole lot, you just need it to stay in place. Uh, so doing that just makes the adhesive a little less hardcore. So here's the deal guys, me personally I've decided that I would much rather just use a knife than any of the other ways of doing it uh, and for me it's because I actually I kind of like the ritual, I like the um, the idea of making something out of opening a bottle of spirits, especially when it's my own stuff. Uh, obviously that is going to be up to you guys. Feel free to do one of the other ways or come up with your own. If you've got your own method, I would love to hear about it down in the comments. One thing I thought of though is instead of using fishing line, you could use copper wire. That could be kind of cool. <laughs> So, now that I know what I want to do on all my bottles, let's get stuck in. Uh, number one is you're going to need some wax. I bought this from Arthur Holmes in New Zealand. Now if you're in New Zealand, I would thoroughly 
thoroughly recommend checking their website out uh, and seeing the products they have for bottles and wax and stuff like that. That's where I've been getting the corks and the bottles as well. They're not paying me to say that, I just think they're awesome. In fact, I don't even think they know I exist. <laughs> but anyway, they call this beaded peelable wax and uh, from what I can tell it's the product that they suggest or the product that they sell for this exact purpose. Now I have seen it online um, spiralized or shredded instead of beaded but as far as I know it's all the same stuff. Now you could you could probably do this with other types of wax as well. To be honest, I don't know. So if you have experimented with other types of wax, I don't know, paraffin, beeswax, whatever, stick a comment down below uh, and let us all know. I'm sure there'll be other people that are interested as well. Now that stuff isn't cheap. I paid $45 a kilo for it. But for those of you in America, just remember that this is New Zealand. Things are more expensive and the New Zealand dollar sucks. So here's the deal team, we have to warm that stuff up. I did initially try to do that really gently, water bath sort of Bay Marie style. Didn't work for me, it took way too long, I couldn't get it to melt totally, so I went in exactly the opposite direction. <clears throat> Cut a tin can down to about half size. Uh, do be careful with these things guys, they get insanely sharp as I'm sure you know. Uh, and it turns out that if I whack this directly onto the induction heater, it works. <laughs> so here's the problem with this uh, way of doing things, heating it super fast, is if you do heat it fast, it can actually get, it seems like, little bubbles forming in the surface of the wax. And if those bubbles form in the surface of the wax, they're going to show up on the bottle. So to be fair, I really shouldn't be heating it this fast. I'm almost certain you're supposed to heat this stuff nice and slow and gently. And I found that if you heat it too fast, you get bubbles all through the surface of the wax. The wax gets really thin and then that shows up uh, on the bottle itself. So what I've done is I've heated it, I've melted it all, and now I've turned the thing off. I'm gonna let it sit for 10 minutes, let the wax get a little bit more viscous and let those bubbles dissipate so I get a nice clean finish uh, on the bottles themselves. If I just heated it slowly and took my time to start with, I wouldn't have to do that. <laughs> I think. So now the bubbles have pretty much cleared and I'm getting a viscosity that I like. It's, uh, it's time to dip the bottle in there. Literally all you need to do is dip the bottle in for a second or so, pull it back out and start rotating. The more you rotate and let it drip, the cleaner the bottle will be. But if you like the drip marks going down the side of the bottles, you can let that happen too. Once you get to this stage and you're up and running, the wax is melted. It's pretty easy to go through a whole lot of them really quickly. Uh, you may want to double dip them a little, uh, as you would have seen in the first clip. That was the wax was a little bit thin for my liking. Like I teased at the beginning of the video, I've actually got something else to put on these bottles as well. I finally got some labels so I can uh, tell what I'm actually drinking. These things are just printed on a like an office printer and a laser printer and I actually just use glue sticks to stick them on. I use glue sticks because it's easy to put the labels on and more importantly it's easy to wash them off afterwards. So there you go team, I am pretty happy with that. I'm all ready for Christmas for some relaxing for a bit of time off and of course a bit of drinking and enjoying my own homemade product. I hope you guys are able to do the same and I would love 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 to hear from you guys uh, if you've got bottles done up nicely and uh, flashed up, sexied up for the holidays, let me know down in the comments. And even better, flick me some images uh, on email, Facebook or Instagram. So there's only one reason that I'm able to do stuff like this on the channel and that is thanks to the Patreons. Thanks a bunch guys, thank you so much. I hope you guys are having a merry, merry Christmas and I truly appreciate the support for the channel. Like always guys, I've had an absolute blast hanging out and making this video. So I hope you enjoyed it as well and I hope you got a little value out of the labels and the waxing of the bottles. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you do so down below. Like always, keep on chasing the craft. I'll see you next time. See ya!